Hi everybody, on this episode I will share my experiences and useful travel tips about the Punaka city in Bhutan. Punaka town in eastern Himalayas, west central Bhutan. It lies at an elevation of about 5000 feet equals to 1500 meters above sea level at a point where several streams converge to form the Sankush River. Punaka served as the capital of the country from 1637 to 1907 and the first national assembly was hosted here in 1953. Two of Bhutan's most important rivers converge in Punaka. At their confluence is the majestic Punaka Zong, an absolute marvel. These rivers are also home to one of the last surviving populations of the critically endangered white-bellied herons. The route from Timpu to Punaka is quite spectacular and takes travelers over the renowned Toshula Pass, which showcases interesting monuments along its course and offers the awe-inspiring opportunity to view the great Himalayan mountain range. Driving down from Doshula Towers Punaka, visitors can discover the Royal Botanical Park, where an excellent collection of Himalayan plants and good birding sites can be found. Reaching Punaka is very easy with any of Bhutan tour packages. They will take care of your transportations during your travel around the Bhutan. In order to reach Punaka by air, you should book your flight tickets to Paro International Airport, followed by a roadway journey from Paro to Punaka. The driving distance is 124 km. Since Bhutan doesn't have any railway connectivity within the country or with India, a direct train journey to Punaka wouldn't be possible. There is an option of taxis or buses from Timpu and the journey takes around 1.5 to 2 hours which is equals to 88 km driving distance. Shared taxis depart from Timpu bus station and terminate at Krutank which is around 5 km south of the Punaka Zong. Punaka is famous for its amazing 17th century fortress its unique techniques for growing rice as well as its beautiful architecture. Punaka is situated at the juncture of two beautiful rivers, the Po and Mochu rivers, which makes this place look even more majestic. Punaka Valley has a pleasant climate with warm winters and hot summers. It is located at an average elevation of 1200 meters above sea level. Owing to the favorable climatic conditions, rice has become the main cash crop cultivated in the region. 
The district is also well known as a tourist destination in Bhutan. Punaka places to visit will be interesting and awesome. Punaka Zong is a major attraction besides Tala Zong, Chimilaklang, Kamsunyu Leinamyel Chorten, Suspension Bridge, and the Two Hot Springs. The main adventure tour in Punaka will be white river rafting in Punaka Valley of Mochu site. A birding tour in Bhutan will be the main site along the Punaka Gasa road site. There are many shops such as souvenirs around Punaka Valley. Tourists can buy woven bags, stalls, traditional jewelry, handmade kira and go, brassware, yakbon jewelry, hand woven bamboo items, carpets, masks, taska, handmade paper, and finely crafted metal products. The government of Bhutan is conscious about its untouched regions to preserve the culture and tradition. Selling of locally produced things is the essential matter to promote the culture and the heritage all over the world. Punaka Zong is arguably the most beautiful zong in the country, especially in spring when the lilac-colored jacaranda trees bring a lush sensuality the zong's characteristically towering whitewashed walls. The zong was the second to be built in Bhutan and it served as the capital and seat of government until the mid-1950s. All of the Bhutan's kings have been crowned here. The Zong is still the winter residence of the Drakshang. Punaka city is located around the Punaka Valley and the vehicle is required to get around. Taxis are available for hire around the city. But if you visit Bhutan with a tour package, they already provide you private vehicle to visit all around on your travel itinerary. Around the Punaka, there are many activities to explore Bhutanese culture. Bhutanese dance show, traditional archery and hot stone buff, local art and handcraft shops are available around the city. There are several restaurants and cafes around Punaka. They offer meats such as a beef, chicken, pork, yak and goat, but many vegetarian dishes are popular with the Buddhists. Beverages include butter tea, beers from cereal grains and rice wine. Dumplings and noodles are popular snack foods. The food of Bhutan is greatly influenced by Indian and Chinese cuisines.
If you like my Punaka City video, I would like to see your likes, comments and subscription to my channel for the new travel videos from all around the world. See you!